Hi everybody. Here we go. We're gonna we're being asked to simplify this expression right here. And this is just a, a factorial over a factorial here. Uh, now to do this, what I want to do is I want to expand the larger value here. So I just gotta ask myself, which is bigger, n plus three or n minus one? Now I okay. Look, this should be pretty obvious that if I'm adding something to a number, compare that to some uh, to subtracting something from that number. I mean, this has got to be larger. But if that's not abundantly clear to you, and it's, sometimes it's not, and that's fine, just choose a number for n. I don't know, make n 10. So if n is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13, 10 minus 1 is 9. Okay, well this one is, is the larger one here. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to expand out the, the, numer uh, sorry, the larger value here. So the first term here, the first factor is going to be n plus 3. The next factor in my factorial is going to be a value one less than that. Now let's just think about this. If n is 10, this is 13. Well, how do I go from n to my 12, the number less than that? Well, I would go n plus 2. Okay, the factor one less than that is going to be 11, and that would be my 10 plus 1. So in this case, that would be like n plus 1. Now notice, this is just getting smaller. What The thing that I'm adding on here is just getting smaller and smaller. So 3, 2, 1. The next one here is just going to be n by itself. But carry this pattern along here. What's the next natural value here? Well, n plus 3, n plus 2, n plus 1, n plus 0. Well, it's got to be n plus negative 1 or n minus 1. Ooh, but I like that. I like that because my denominator here is n minus 1. Now granted factorial, so up here I'm going to stop. I'm going to put the factorial there. That indicates that I keep going here from this factor all the way down to 1 and then the denominator's got that on it as well. And so those two are going to cancel. And here we go. I'm left with uh, n times n plus 3 times n plus 2 times n plus 1. Um, now you might be able to get away with just listing off those factors there. You may not, however. So, I mean, it's, it's probably not a big deal for us to do this right now. If we had this, this would be n squared, what is that, plus 5n plus 6 times n squared plus n. Uh, oh, what are we going to get here? That's going to be n to the fourth, okay? Then I'm going to get n cubed plus 5n cubed, so plus 6n cubed. Uh, then I'm going to move on to this one, so it's going to be, sorry, I already did this one, so it's going to be 5n squared plus 6n squared, so plus 11n squared. And then I'm going to get just the uh, 6n. And there we go. And so that's what it looks like when you expand that whole thing out. Hopefully I did that right. I did that kind of quick. Um, yeah, now you may be allowed just to stop right there and list that off. You're going to have to get um, some confirmation of that.